Hello friends, welcome to GoTech. Today I'm going to teach you on how to create an any app using Sketch One. In one of my videos, I was talking about how to create cover add more. I was telling that you can use it to monetize your app. So today we are going to learn on how to monetize it, monetize our app. But today we are not going to create a standard app. I'll just show you how to. I link your Google AdMob to your Sketchware app. So maybe in my next video, I'm going to create a stand. I'm going to teach you how to create a standard app so you can able to you can be able to upload it in your Play Store. So guys, before we get started, make sure you give me a, a big like here and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed. So now, without wasting of time, let's get started. So first thing, first thing, you have to go to. And look for your app sketchware sketchware okay let me go back okay now guys let's start let me on my data and uh, let's start immediately first thing you're going to write maybe in s choose uh, <coughs> any app any app if you go to advanced setting you can change the color remove this new project file so any Project name should be also any app. So don't give space here, that's why it's giving me not the right color. So we can change the color or let's allow like this. So click on create app, and this is our app, <coughs> our app dashboard. So now, first thing we're going to do now is that um, I told you we're not coming to create, create a standard app. I'm just coming to teach you on how to link your Google AdMob to your Sketchware. Please, if you don't know how to create Google AdMob account, please, you see it in, in the description below. Click on that link or you see uh, my video on how to create a Google AdMob account and how to create your internet and get share and banner code. Make sure you watch it so that you can use it to create your what any app using Sketchware. Now, first thing you're going to do, guys, is that you're going to click on these three dots on top of your right hand corner. So, click on the three dots. When you click on the three dots, you see another menu pop out. You see library, you go to view, you see main image, you see sound, you see font, you see shows, show source code. But this time around, we're going to go to library. So, go to library, you see add compact and design five base. But now, click on add mode. So, now you see that it says subscribe to become a premium user uh, if you want to click on anything here you have to watch video so what we're going to do now is we're going to go click on add mob add mob so first of all you are going to what watch a video to unlock if you watch a video it's supposed to be 810 view or 210 naira now what if you watch the video it will open for free So allow it to use the Now you have two options here. You have to maybe, uh, if you are among the people that I said, okay, if you have watched that video, you, uh, I told you that you, you should save your banner and interstitia code somewhere. So if you save your this, you can come here and click on manual. Look at it. Click on manual. That addition side there. Click on it. You see this kind of thing. 
So first of all, you're going to enter your banner and this thing. So banner, banner, right banner here. And maybe add your unit mode. That and non banner is saved. That is what you're going to do here. So now, but if you didn't uh, save your this thing, you can just say, okay, rank at more bot account. So look at my email now. I have to put link my account maybe the account i want to use for the arm one more so after that you create okay so now you see it have already discovered my interstitia and banner code next thing you're going to do is that you're going to click on next <coughs> now you're going to edit this so that so you click on banner for the first one. Second one is this testicia code. Then click on enter. So yeah. Now we are done this side. Let's click on next side. So now there's one thing you understand here now. This is if you if you click on next now, your phone, the phone that you're using to to create this and uh, got more add more of any app will become your testing app. Is when you send it to another person that is when it will start uh, displaying real ads but when you use this your phone that is why you say add test devices it will be writing what test what ads because you are using your own phone and it has been registered that if you test add more without adding your device id the admin account will bam this add your device what id so now if you add your device id it will not work it will be showing only test ads in your phone it's when you send it to another person's smartphone that is when it will start displaying the ads okay now i'll tell you about that one before we open the end okay let's click click on next right now this is your banner uh, and ad this is your interstitial and this is test device this is your own phone so what you're going to do is save so now go to add compact uh, this is an enable click on work Whatever we go back so we are done the first bit so what we are going to do here is that we are going to click on add view Add it to this place. Let's check. Let's call it one, and let's change the add size. Maybe let's put it in rectangle. Mm, think it's okay like this. Now, what you're going to do next is that you're going to click and uh, go to event. Click on create. Click on component. Click on add component. When you click on add component, you see look for interstitial and click on it. So maybe let's save it to there. Uh, let's put INT. INT. Okay, enter. Uh, let's put enter. And click on add okay so what you're going to do next is that you're going to click on exit key and button go to components you see here you see interstitial add click on interstitial add you see on load on add loader click on on add loaded so what you're going to do here guys is that you're going to click on this app symbol this thing click on it and go to um, components when you go to component <coughs> when you go to component you see where the right interstitial are show click drag it to this place and click on the button right and put enter so 
you are done we'll click on the button we we'll click on on add fail to root now click on this app open again click on components again click on tools and drag it to this place now what you're going to do is you're going to go to operator wait for join and okay join and sorry okay. join and put it here now what you're going to do is just some so drag that with a distance to this place now um look at this error could on top drag it to this place here uh -huh. so they're going to so up here is where they're going to write um add load fail error so going to save and that's we are done here guys we are done now click on your button so you are going to go to event click on and create now click on your Apple user one go to view go to add view add view load add view load okay these are add view load Patience, so we just look. This is our art view load. Okay, look at our art view load here. Drag it to this place. Click on the button side, it's change it to add view, add view one, select. The next thing you're going to do is that. You are going to go to components back look for industrial <coughs> add this one here great drag it to this place change this so our enter click on load Enter, select now guys you're done you're done you're done so you just go back save your work after saving you now run okay. so guys make sure you subscribe like and share this to your friends share this to your friends make sure you like subscribe so that anytime i release a video you will not stress yourself by looking for it i'll send you notification anytime i release a new video i release videos on apps how to build on build apps without code and also coding but the video for coding is still calm i think it is going to start next week but for now what you're going to do is just so you don't miss this opportunity you have to subscribe to this channel subscribe so that anytime i release a new video I will be releasing video on how to build a standard app within this week. So that's how to build a standard app. I'm going to show you how to also I'm going to tell you how to also upload it on Play Store. So friends, what you're going to do is just like and subscribe to this channel and make sure you call your friends so that they also like and subscribe to this channel. So for, for those that are not watch the video for that uh, Google did the link is in the description. So as you're waiting for app to create uh, build I have, I have finished building now. What you're going to do is that you're going to install it. Okay, install. Okay. Now 
now it's playing your descent so you are going to wait for a while before your hand will display but first thing you have to make sure that your data is gone okay our hand has started so i was telling you that why this thing will be showing best ad is because it's your own phone that you're using for the best thing so what you're going to do now next is that you're going to send it to someone's phone and you see that it will not be displaying this type of thing again to be displaying red ads so guys what you're going to do give me a big, big thumbs up in this video and subscribe like and share this video so thanks for watching